Now notice, Achish, who had full confidence in David now, then Achish called David, said unto him, Surely as the Lord liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out and thy coming in with me in the host is good in my sight, for I have not found evil in thee since the day of thy coming unto me unto this day. Nevertheless, the Lord's favor thee not. Wherefore now return and go in peace, that thou displease not the lords of the Philistines. In other words, Achish, one of the leaders, said, I'm outvoted, I'm outnumbered. The others will not have you. I have full confidence in you. But in order that we can have harmony in our midst, I'll have to ask you to return. And this, my friend, was nothing but the providence of Almighty God. It delivered David from fighting his own people. Now, and David said unto Achish, But what have I done? What hast thou found in thy servant so long as I have been with thee unto this day that I may not go fight against the enemies of my lord the king? And after all, King Saul was David's enemy at this time also. And David felt that he was perfectly right in doing this thing. But when you get a proper perspective of it, you can see by David's lapse of faith, stepping out of the land, which meant he stepped out of the will of God, it opened up the way for sin. The very interesting thing is, Christian friend, there are those that are saying today that a child of God, when he steps out of the will of God, loses his salvation. Well, you won't lose your salvation, but you're going to gain something you wish you didn't have. A man said to me in California years ago, he came in to see me. It was after World War II. He said, you know, I came out as a young man here in the service. I got out of the will of God. While I was out of the will of God, I married an unsaved girl. And he said, I have lived in a living hell from that day to the present hour. And he said, I see nothing to do but to step out and to get a divorce. And I told him, I said, don't you get a divorce. Let her get it if she wants to leave you. You stick it out, brother. This is what came to you when you were out of the will of God. You see, the child of God won't lose his salvation, but he's sure going to get something he wish he didn't have. And this fella had done that same thing, you see. You get in trouble, always out of the will of God. Now, that is what has happened here to David. He's stepped out of the will of God, and he's about to commit an awful sin. But God intervenes, and we read here, verse 11, So David and his men rose up early to depart in the morning to return into the land of the Philistines, and the Philistines went up to Jezreel. Now, Jezreel is up in the north. If you have a good map, you ought to take a look at the geography at this point, and it will open up, I think, a great deal of what is happening here and make it understandable. Jezreel is up near the valley of Esdraelon, by the way. In fact, I would say part of it, because that's a tremendous battlefield as it's going to be someday. It's a wonderful, fertile valley today and is being used. But you find that David did not go up to Jezreel. But at this time, the Philistines 